Hi guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to sell your crypto and withdraw that for pesos. So this video is great for people na merong mga employers na nag, uh, bibigay ng sahod nila through crypto or they give your compensation through that. Or pag malaki na yung kinita mo sa crypto tapos gusto mo na mag-cash out. So, here are the things that you will be needing. Number one is a verified Binance account. Now, there are a lot of exchanges out there that you can use. But in this case, I would recommend Binance. I've been using Binance for so long already and mas magpapagkatiwalaan ko sa despite all the news that you're hearing about them uh, Binance is still number one number two you will need a bank account or a digital wallet like Gcash or Maya just so that you know meron kang kailangan naman magkakash out ka pero wala kang account kung asan mo ipapasend yung pera di ba so that's second uh, third is you're going to need to have the crypto that you want to sell syempre kung wala yung crypto na yun sa account mo paano mo ibibenta yun di ba and then lastly, you're going to need to have your mobile uh, and your email for two-factor authentication. So this is very important because uh, a lot of people get scammed. A lot of people would say na nahat yung account nila and stuff like that. And so you need to have that extra layer of security para secure yung account niyo, di ba? Mahirap naman yun pagka, let's say, hindi nyo linigyan ng password or what. Why would you do that? <laughs> so, um, let's get right into it. Um, first is... You need to know kung ano yung address uh, address mo. Right? Kung ano yung ipapadala sa usually ang ina-ask sa inyo uh, especially for those who are uh, freelancers and who have bosses na uh, web3 yung nature or crypto usually they would ask you for your TRC20 wallet or sometimes Ethereum wallet or whatever it is. But usually they're going to be paying you in USDT. Pwede din naman Ethereum pero usually it's in USDT. So, hanapin nyo yung coin kung asan kayo papayaran. So, usually yan. Type nyo lang dyan sa search bar, it's USDT. So, I'm here in the Binance platform. Dito nga pala ako nakalagay sa... Uh, nandito ako madda sa my fiat and spot. So, hanapin nyo yung USDT kung ang uh, inask sa inyo ng employer nyo is ETH. Uh, go ahead. Uh, hanapin nyo lang yung ETH, lalabas din yan dyan. But you wanna go and find deposit. So, once you click deposit... Uh, lalabas dito yung network. So, nakalagay nyo dyan, USDT. Pwede nyo dyan hanapin ETH or whatever it is na kung anong coin or token kayo babayaran. Kung wala yung token na kung asan kayo babayaran, you know, you can recommend or request na kung pwede kang babayaran ng USDT. Kasi ito yung mas uh, accepted na currency. So, next is yung network. Uh, marami kang makikita ng network dito, but yung pinakaginagamit ng mga tao is yung TRX or yung Tron. Uh, network. So, TRC20 yung nakalagay. Uh, pwede din Solana, pwede din Matic, uh, but usually, it's TRX20. So, once you have that here, you lalabas ng deposit address. Kung hindi ka pa, let's say, first time mo makipag-transact, right? Or wala ka pang address. Um, this exchange is going to do create that wallet for you. So, select mo lang yung parang create wallet and then lalabas itong deposit address. You copy that, and then, you send that to your employer. Tapos, ito yung gagamitin niyang address para isend yung crypto sa'yo. Now, um, pag napadala niya sa'yo yan, usually it's not gonna take 5 minutes. Usually, mga 2 minutes or under a minute, andyan na yung pera sa account niyo. Ganun siya kabilis, guys. Now, the thing is, uh, ano yung next step? Uh, the next step that you will have to do is go to your wallet and then punta ka sa spot, fiat and spot. Um, so, kung binayaran ka in a different, let's say, ano ba, token coin, let's say, binayaran ka in BTC, USDC, uh, BUSD, ang next yung gagawin is i-convert siya into USDT. Now, why USDT? Because sobrang competitive ng prices compared to other tokens like USDC or BUSD. Sometimes kasi mas mataas yung uh, patong pag yun yung ginamit mo. So, in this example, I'm gonna use USDC. Halimbawa lang na binigyan ako ng USDC instead of USDT. What I can do here is just select convert. So, nandito lang yan sa fiat and spot. Punta ka dun sa convert. Uh, it's gonna bring you to this page over here. And, ayan. So, pipili ka saan ba? From spot ba or sa funding? Eh, since nasa spot wallet siya and USDC, yung sinelect ko. Gusto kong mag, let's say, cash in ng uh, sabihin lang natin mga 1,000 USDC. So, I'm gonna preview conversion here. And then, lalabas na, okay, pagka binenta ko yung 1,000 na yan, uh, 1,001, 
yung ibibenta kong USDC para makakuha ako ng 1,000 USDT worth. So, kita nyo, meron ding konting discrepancy dyan. So, I'm just gonna select convert. And then, ayan. Lumabas na yung converted. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I need to go to wallet. So, I'm gonna select that. And, wait lang natin. So, ito guys, usually, ayan, pupunta na naman ako ngayon sa fiat and spot. And from here, what I want to do is ita-transfer ko itong USDT ko. Okay? So, ngayon nasa fiat and spot siya, di ba? So, makita nyo dito sa wallet, iba't iba yung meron. Merong overview, which is makita mo yung uh, buong account mo, ano yung sa mo siya nilagay. So, baka mamaya magtataka kayo, bakit wala siya sa fiat and spot? Baka mamaya nasa funding wallet pala, or nasa futures, or nasa kung anumang uh, wallet siya. So, here, what you want to do is uh, transfer yung uh, USDT mo na nasa fiat and spot into the funding wallet. So, select transfer. And then, makikita mo yung fiat and spot from. And then, hanapin mo yung to. Just select funding. And then, from here, uh, hanapin mo yung coin na gusto mo i-transfer. Uh, make sure it's USDT. And then, select natin 1,000. Select confirm. And then, ayan, makikita mo na wala na yung 1,000 USDT dito sa spot. Nandun na siya sa funding wallet. So, baka mamaya kasi kabahan kayo like, kasan na yung pera ko or what happened to it. Nasa funding wallet lang yun, guys. Now, the funding wallet is where you use um, to sell your crypto and then transfer it into an escrow like service. Like here in Binance kasi, meron silang ganong platform or this is kind of like a secure way to do peer-to-peer -peer transactions. So, the next thing that you do, um, you go to trade and then go to peer-to-peer, -peer, itong P2P, bank transfer and 100 plus options. So, iba't-ibang currency yung pwede mong, uh, let's say, you wanna cash out in a different currency. Pwede naman, like kung asan kayo sa mundo, right? Tapos ano yung bank. Uh, here, we have pesos. Pesos yung target natin kasi nasa Pilipinas tayo. Uh, first, makikita nyo, merong mga options dito. Block, P2P, at saka Express. So, sa block, ito yung mga medyo malalaking transactions. Let's say, million-million na yung gusto mo i-cash out, then you use block. If you want P2P, pwede din naman. Pero sometimes, hindi ko siya ma-recommend because, uh, well, maganda din naman, maganda dito kasi makapagpili ka kung ano yung mga, um, let's say, yung lowest na rates. Um, or pagka, let's say, meron kang suke, pwedeng ito na rin yung gamitin mo sa P2P. Like, for example, makikita mo dito kung sino yung mga maraming orders tapos na ilang percent completion. Yan usually yung pupuntahan or yung mas magandang um, ano yan, makipag-transact dito sa mga to. So, hindi ko kakilala kung sino mga to. Uh, but if you want na gusto mo madalian, punta ka dito sa Express. So, this is what I would recommend. Um, especially kung nagmamadali ka. Kasi kung sino yung parang pinaka-available sa pagkakaintindi ko, uh, yun agad yung kukuha ng order mo and then process the order. So, hindi tayo dito para mag-buy. We're here to sell our crypto. So, just select sell. So, make sure you select sell. And then, lalabas na dito sa balance mo yung nilipat mo na USDT. So, kung zero yan, uh, you select transfer tapos pupunta ka ulit dun sa uh, process natin kanina. And then, sundin mo lang yun. Now, the minimum amount for you to cash out your crypto is 20 USDT. So, sometimes, um, people will ask you, ano ba, mas mataas na fee? Ah, hindi pala. May iba kasi na nagka-cash out ng mas malaki, like 100 uh, thousand, may ibang crypto exchanges na ganun. I don't really recommend that uh, you go into exchanges na sobrang laki ng cash out kasi parang fishy. But anyways, um, I'll discuss that in another, in another video. What's important here is mapakita ko lang sa inyo paano siya gagawin. Now, if it is your first time doing this, and medyo kakabahan kasi kayo for sure, uh, marami kasi akong kakilala na first time nilang gumawa ng ganitong peer-to-peer -peer transaction, unsupervised, talagang kakabahan ka. <laughs> Pero, um, I'm gonna tell you that it's normal, nakabahan. Uh, if it's your first time, make sure na 20 USDT lang muna yung ikakash out mo. Bakit? Uh, it's, a, it's called a microtransaction. Kumbaga, eh, hindi naman siya ganun kalaki. I mean, malaki pa rin siya. Ano? Like, 200 uh, USDT, magkano ba yan? 20 times. So, mga 1,000 plus, right? Ayan, nandito na pala. <laughs> but, like, 
kung malaking itatransact mo tas first time mo, baka kasi kabahan ka how to do the whole process. Ang pinaka-important is masanay ka muna how to do these transactions and pagka confident ka na, then you can proceed with bigger transactions. So, ngayon, since uh, sanay naman ako gawin to, you can just select the all. And since I'm wanting to transfer 1,000 um, USDT worth, pwedeng, you know, lalagay ako ng butal dito. And then, I will select uh, sell with 0% fee. Now, if you do not have this set up yet, ibig sabihin, hindi mo pa na-input yung bank details mo or yung account details mo where you will receive your pesos, uh, you wanna go here to P2P User Center. I'm just gonna go and click another tab. Um, here in the um, an tawag nito? P2P User Center, lalabas dito yung account um, this is your account, yung email mo, yung SMS, KYC address. So, dapat lahat yan kompleto, especially yung KYC, SMS, at email. So, these are actually uh, what you need para maging secure yung account nyo. What happens is that once um, we proceed with the transaction, they're gonna ask me my email verification and also they're gonna send me a text message uh, to complete the verification para talagang alam nila na, oh, ako talaga to. And then I'm sending the money. I'm allowing this transaction to happen. So, if wala ka pang ano, payment method, just select this add a payment method, tas pipili ka kung ano yung mga banks that are available here. Usually, mga major banks and dyan din naman. So, Gcash, you can select more kung wala dyan. But usually, all of it is uh, yung mga major-major or yung mga recommended, andito naman lahat. So, I have here my account details for Gcash, BPI, at saka Union Bank. Um, and then, what's important is that I go here to, uh, once you set that up, then okay ka na. Pwede, nang, pwede ka na magpatuloy dun sa kung anong gagawin mo. Next, uh, we go back here to express and then sell. And then, once you have, let's say, selected magkano yung desired mo na amount ng ibenta, it's gonna show you yung potential or kung baga ito yung parang best price nila at the current market. Pwede itong bumaba, depende. But usually, uh, more or less, sobrang lapit lang dito sa presyo na to when you do this. And then now I'm gonna select sell with zero percent fee, uh, with zero fee, and then it's gonna it's gonna give me options. Kung saan ba ako pwedeng, um, let's say, saan ko ba pwedeng, saan ba nila pwede ipadala yung pera? So pwedeng pay with GCash. Uh, currently, ito yung best offer nila, point forty nine, fifty six point forty nine yung palitan. If I'm gonna choose BPI, then it's fifty six point thirty nine. So right now, uh, sabihin na lang natin mas gusto ko sa BPI kasi gusto ko ng pera sa BPI. I'm just gonna select that and then confirm sale. So once it's there, um, since you're selling, ano, what's gonna happen is that the person who is buying your crypto will send pesos to your account. So dito dapat ready yung ano, yung uh, pag-check mo sa account mo. So ngayon, I'm just gonna go to my BPI and make sure na matatransfer niya yung pera doon. Maglalagin lang ako guys. So, in this corner over here, makikita niyo dyan yung ano, chat box. So, pwedeng sabihin mo, please proceed. Usually, it will take time for them to send the money. Pero nakikita nyo, meron ditong 59, um, uh, ano yan, 59 minutes. So, this is kind of like the timer that is needed uh, to be able to process the transaction. Yeah. So, currently, meron na bang nagpadala? Breaking lang, ha? So, mukhang nag-send na siya ng pera. I have received around 56,436. I can see it here in my account sa BPI ko. And then, nakita ko din na lagay siya dito ng I've paid, assigned. Okay. So, kinonfirm niya na. Um, other people, if you want to have them send a screenshot uh, dun sa transaction na yun, pwede naman. Pero kung nakakita mo naman dito sa, let's say, account mo na lumabas na siya, then, why ask for more, right? So, Hindi ko alam kung nakikita niya dyan. Pero ayan na, lumabas na dito. Yung kanyang bayan. Um, then, the next thing that I need to do is just select payment received. And then, 
make sure na basahin nyo to baka mamaya ang maselect nyo po mali dapat itong I have not received dapat itong I have received the correct amount so pag select nyo yan babalik kayo dun so select nyo lang to and then afterwards you can um, use your authenticator app or sometimes email as authenticator app para i-list nyo yung um, yung bayad so this is the Google Authenticator you have to download that on your phone usually meron naman yan sa phone ninyo eh and then from here you just input yung code na lalabas so currently nakalagay dito yung code I'm just gonna input that so once it's there ayan nakalagay na successfully sold I have received the money and then okay na now if let's say for example hindi nyo release yung crypto ninyo tapos tapos nakapag-send na yung tao sa account niya what's gonna happen is that um iho-hold yung crypto ninyo na nasa account niyo i-hold yan ni Binance so hindi niyo siya magagamit sa so whatever it is and then until ma-resolve yung dispute so make sure lang na i-release niyo yung pera bakit niyo namin i-keep niyan di ba like kung mangsa-scam kayo GG din ang mangyayari sa inyo hindi kayo makakatakas dito guys so um, ayan, so ngayon nakapag-successfully sold na tayo ng crypto, that's super easy it didn't take even 5 minutes, right? Um, or did it take 5 minutes? pero sobrang bilis lang, di ba? sinan niya kaagad sa akin, so nasa sa akin na kung kung, kung gano'ng katagal ko siya i-release, pero normally, ganun lang siya kabilis guys, it's not gonna take you like, ano, mga 3, 5, 10 minutes unusual lang yun pag 10 minutes pero gawin mo rin, especially kung nasa Pilipinas ka, gawin mo siya ng, ng araw ng umaga kasi minsan pagkagabi tulog na yung mga tao guys eh so okay naman <laughs> baka mamaya kasi gumawa kayo ng mga transactions na late na ganyan baka mas talagang tatagal yung magiging transaction now 